<laughs> now, our next guest married into the Rose family of Schitt's Creek, taking David as his husband, Moira as his mother-in-law, and, of course, Alexis as his sister-in-law. How lucky was he? Epic family. Yes. Epic. He played the very lovable Patrick Brewer on the show, and now actor and singer Noah joins us to tell us all about his brand-new tour. Hello, Canada. This is Dublin calling. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? I should have said, hey, Blondie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, new look, new me. Uh, this is not, strictly speaking, for the tour, but, um, you know, fun to try new things, right? Yeah, and I have to ask you, do blondes have more fun? Yes. Not not in my experience, but maybe, you know, Karen could probably speak to that. I don't know. Exactly. We do. We do. Guess how dull I'd be. Oh, I mean, I'm dull enough. Could you imagine? Brian? And as a natural blonde. Thank you, Brian. OK. Love you. Um, listen, <laughs> now I want to talk to you about Tiss Creek all of night course, long. We I have know, to first. Yes. I know. And we will talk about the, your trip to Dublin, obviously, yes. uh, with the tour. But I've never chatted to anyone who's been involved in my favourite TV show of all time. Alexis, was... David. Your impression is not that good. It's Stop doing it in front of one of the cast. Members. He's raging. Yeah. But do people still come up to you? I'm sure they do. And uh, you know, ask all about Patrick and just working with the Levies and everything. I mean, it's just such a wonderful, wonderful show to have been part of. Oh yeah, it, it, people are are still uh, very much attached to it, which I think speaks to you know the the uh, the time that people spent with this show, um, getting to know these characters, investing in them as they kind of you know grew into themselves. Um, yeah, it, it continues to be a thing that people are like, oh, my God, are you? And I'm like, yes, but I, I look different now. Um, <laughs> but it's it's very fun. I, you know, people are the people who love this show, by and large, are like very lovely, respectful, kind people who, you know, found found all of those things in the show reflected in themselves. And so it's it's not something I mind very much. Yeah, I feel exactly. like you're talking about us. Yes, exactly. Yeah, no, I just love your. <laughs> but your love story with David, like it's, it was just so gorgeous. Like you were such, your whole story arc was just such a highlight of the series. So yeah, it's just, love it. Want now Noah, it is it true you'd never even watched the show before auditioning for the part? And if that is the case, what was it like entering that universe of Schitt's Creek? I think I actually gave myself away one day when we were on set and uh, we were having lunch and somebody did Bob's kind of like run into the room that he does. <laughs> and I, and everyone laughed and I was like, what is that? <laughs> and, and everyone kind of turned to me and was like, you haven't seen the show. But you know, I, I felt like Patrick hasn't seen, doesn't know anything about the, about Schitt's Creek or about the roses. And so it's kind of, uh, you know, I, I felt like it was something I could use to my benefit um, as a kind of an outsider. And, and it made my job really easy. I got to just walk in and, and watch these brilliant performers do their wacky things and go, oh my God, okay, they really do exist, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was fun. Listen, I was absolutely, I was saying like it got me through the two lockdowns here in Ireland. I watched the, the show all the way through. I binged. Oh, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's such a feel good factor. Um, when the show ended, we were devastated. And the documentary, I have to say, was a nice softener to kind of let us go. Withdrawal. <laughs> the withdrawal symptoms, it was. exactly. But in terms of you guys, did you just cut, like, did the show end and buy everyone off to different roles and gigs? Or how did it all end for the whole cast? Well, there, there was a really nice moment where we all got to kind of uh, a bunch of us headed off to Italy to a, a, a Tuscan villa for a little uh, a debrief of about two weeks and many Aperol spritzes. And uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, we had a we had a total blast. I recommend, you know, for any actors who are uh, in television shows watching this, when a series comes to an end, uh, go on vacation together. It's a it's a phenomenal way to say goodbye. <laughs> Will we do that when... Should we go on vacation <laughs> together? We'll do that when well, we I finish, finish um, tomorrow. We'll book, book a Tuscan a, villa. Let's book a Tuscan villa. <laughs> and an Aperol spread. Noah can hook <laughs> us up. Yeah. Noah can hook <laughs> us up. And finally, I've saved the most important question to last. They you know me, I'm a proper journalist. <laughs> I'm a proper journalist. When are we going to get a Schitt's Creek movie in your own time? You're live on national television in Ireland. No pressure. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think we'd all enjoy it. Um, and certainly, you know, it's a question we get asked all the time. I feel like if people keep asking the question, then then Dan will be forced to uh, to make something happen. I think it would be a total blast to get back together with everybody. But of course, you know, when you go out on a high like we did, it's 
you, you ratchet up that pressure level for yourselves. And now it would have to be like, you know, the greatest film of all time, yeah. which of course it would be, um, you know, if, if we were all uh, in the same room at the same time doing the same thing. 